Hello and welcome to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'm gonna go over your first day in an IT help desk role, what it may look like, my experience in IT help desk, and some tips to help you get started. So I have broken this video down into segments to help you guys navigate through this video to find useful information. So if you're interested in that, look at the timestamps in the description down below. And yeah, so in this video, I'm not going to go over the interview process of getting an IT help desk role, but more so what happens after the interview process, what your first day may look like, things like that. I will make a separate video sometime in the future on how to get an IT help desk role, things like that. So for this video, I'm more so just going to go over your first day and what it may look like. So let's get started first with my experience. So I am a tier two IT help desk intern at a science company in Westerville, Ohio. This is a on-site position that I've had for around six months now. Um, we have one remote location in Massachusetts, so it's servicing around over a little over 200 uh, end users, both in, on the on-site location that I'm at and in our remote location. I work alongside four other co-workers, which include two help desk associates, tier one and tier three, the systems engineer at our company, and the CIO, which is my boss. Now, I started this role in May of this year alongside another intern with the same role as me, and we didn't have the two other help desk associates at the time, so it was just me, the other help desk intern, the systems engineer, and the CIO. So you can imagine how the workload has changed over time and how that's kind of helped me learn. So one of the biggest responsibilities uh, for my role as an IT help desk intern has been keeping everything up and running, making sure that things don't go down and when they do go down, finding the root cause of that situation and making sure it doesn't happen again. Along with that, imaging computers, updating images for computers, software deployments, making software packages and pushing them out, making sure we do software patching and uh, making sure Computers are updated to the latest versions. Another several projects like up upgrading software, helping the systems engineer upgrade uh, servers, and BitLocker encryption on endpoints. Another thing I was have been responsible for is patching cables and tracing network cables, making sure that when making sure that ports are secured and only allow one computer device. Assembling and setting up new user uh, desks, so making sure that they have a new computer, they have their security key to log in, making sure that they're all set up, have the enough bright monitors, keyboard, mouse, things like that. And one of the last responsibilities and probably the most important responsibility is the ticketing system, making sure that tickets get resolved, escalated properly. And normally with your first IT help desk job, you will be the first line of defense when it comes to phone calls and tickets. So a lot of the tickets will be assigned to you and you will have to evaluate the tickets and contact whoever submitted it. Uh, getting information about the situation and if you could solve it you go ahead and solve it but if you need help on it or you may not know using Google and if you can't find a, uh, uh, a solution on Google making sure it gets escalated to the right person along with that also making sure that tickets get closed in a timely manner and get resolved in a timely manner not just leaving tickets open for weeks and months at a time leaving things unresolved uh, as a uh, help desk, that's definitely a big part of how you can be, I guess, sort of graded on your performance is how fast tickets can get done and completed. Along with that, also customer service, how you treat the end user. You always want to treat the end user and put yourself in their shoes, feel uh, empathetic for them because everyone's just trying to do the job and you are here trying to support people trying to do their job. So I guess it's just a, it's always good to have a great smile on your face, make them laugh, you know, make sure that they don't feel alone in the situation and ensure the things that they need done get done. Now, before I get into the first day experience, I'm gonna talk about the different types of help desk jobs because my help desk experience is gonna be a lot different than your help desk experience because of a few simple things. For example, you may have a remote job, a hybrid job or on-site job. I've had an on-site job for this internship and my last internship. So if you have a remote position, the responsibilities you have may be a lot different. For example, you'll be dealing with a lot less hardware and more software and ticketing, things like that. But if you're someone who's a hybrid or on site, you're gonna be responsible for, like I said, imaging computers, doing basic hardware installments. So those little things can make a difference in the responsibilities. Along with that, um, different company niches. So the company I work at is a science company, so the things that I service may be a little different from the company that you service. You may have 
specific software that is too specific to your company. Different type of help desk jobs can also change your responsibilities. For example, if you're an internal help desk, meaning you're helping people within your company, so your other coworkers, helping them out, versus external where you're dealing with customers who have IT problems or you're dealing with clients from other companies. If you're an IT company, you may have a hundred other company clients that they uh, contract with to do their IT support or external meaning you may be a help desk uh, person for software and uh, what for example websites and people who have issues logging into websites or issues with certain software may contact you so that's kind of what external is versus internal you can see the differences of responsibilities for each of those roles and the last big uh, difference with job type is the size of the company and the size of your team if you have a smaller team you're going to be responsible for a lot more than a company that has a team of a hundred people if you're in a big company like Google for example your help desk job is probably going to be on a very very specific uh, responsibilities and roles so you may have a lot more I guess I wouldn't say repetitiveness but you'll be in a more niche level than if you were one of five people now let's now let's get into the first day as an IT help desk associate how that's gonna look so first when you walk in you're probably gonna have orientation touring the building um, if you're online orientation meaning some basic training you'll probably get have to learn company policies and help desk policies making sure you understand what you can and can't do uh, as a help desk associate You'll get to your desk or get set up on the uh, system. You'll they'll, you'll set up your login information, your email, things like that. Um, you'll likely get introduced to the ticketing system on one of your first days. I don't believe I got introduced on my first day, but it was like the first week I was working there. I got introduced to the ticketing system. You may have random basic tasks on your first day. For example, my first day, I think one of the first tasks I had to do was set up um, Mount a couple monitors on, yeah, at the mount a couple monitors for another intern's desk, making sure that their computer got set up. So basic tasks like that, you'll be assembling a lot of hardware and unboxing monitors, things like that. On your first day, you're gonna meet your coworkers and the team that you'll be working with, and probably the per and the person that is training you slash the person you're shadowing. For me, it was the systems engineer at the company, but a lot of times you can, it could be your supervisor, another help desk associate. So you'll meet the person who's training you and pretty much who you're gonna be learning around and working with every day. You'll probably learn how to remote into computers or how to handle certain tickets. They'll probably teach you for like example, mounting a network drive, you have to do this, this, and this. Just learning the very basic Ticket it, like the basic tickets that come in on a daily day-to-day -day basis installing printers and uh, Making sure you uh, troubleshooting basic software issues You'll probably be taught how to image computers how to pixie boot a computer or how their imaging process goes But yeah, your first day is normally relatively easy you, you will be kind of like thrown to the wolves in a way because you're kind of just going in with no prior experience regardless of how much experience you have with help desk Walking into a help desk job is going to be different no matter what company it is. But knowing the basics of IT helps you learn and can help you troubleshoot and get to solutions faster than you would if you didn't know those. Now some tips for your first day as an IT help desk associate is don't expect to know everything. Make sure to go in with an open and humble mindset because believe me, you will get humbled no matter what position you work in. I've been humbled many times at my position because you come in thinking that you know a lot about technology and that you're completely ready for this position but no there are always things that you're gonna need to learn no matter what position you're in like learning how certain processes work and how you need to configure certain things another big tip is use Google a lot like a lot every day I probably use Google nearly a hundred times doing searches and things like that it really saves you a bunch of time um, but along with that goes with asking questions because not everything can be answered from a search engine things that are specific to the company May not be clear when you first show up. So making sure that you ask your coworkers um, Everyone's not gonna expect you to know everything at first a to like a non-toxic company would not expect you 
to be a master at absolutely everything. So asking the right questions and at the right time is always important. One of my last tips I would have for someone who's going into help desk would be get familiar with documentation. You will be doing a lot of documentation or you should be at least regardless whether it's with the company's documentation system or your personal notes because at my company, I've had to do a lot of documentation because it is a smaller team. So making sure that if someone new comes in and starts at the company, they can use the documentation whenever they have questions. So if you're if the company you're working at has good documentation, you're going to be pretty set when it comes to basic troubleshooting uh, issues. Along with that, the projects you work on, you're going to need to document how you did everything, the processes that run. Like, for example, if you have scripts that you need to run to implement something, explaining what exactly the script does. So documentation is probably one of the biggest skills to have when it comes to IT help desk because it'll save your life when you're learning stuff. So if you need to write down notes, I really advise doing that because it's always good to have some sort of uh, way to ask answer questions specifically to the company and to help you troubleshoot problems. So yeah, that is kind of my tips and how your first day as an IT help desk associate would look like. Um, if you have any questions at all, please comment down below. If you want to see my resume or my LinkedIn profile, go to the link tree down in the description. I have it linked there and I'll probably pin it in the comments as well. But yeah, if you learned a lot in this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video useful. If you didn't find this video useful, comment down below how I could make it better. I appreciate any feedback and I appreciate you guys for watching. So before I end this video off, I just want to say thank you guys for 400 subscribers. I don't think I've done a thank you yet for that. So I really appreciate it, you guys, and I uh, appreciate it a lot. And I believe we're only around 40 away from hitting 500 subscribers, which is half to a thousand. So that's pretty cool to think about. Um, I really enjoy making these videos. I find making these videos useful for me and I find it uh, if it makes it useful for you, that's great. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and see you later.